look up this recipe. This is recommended by nationally known outdoor writer Byron Darrymple. Lives in the Southwest, but he's cooked an awful lot of game birds over the years. And he recommends this recipe for if you're not sure whether a game bird is young or old, sometimes the older ones can be tougher. So this is called simmered game bird. Really makes a tender meal. First thing you'll want to do is get some butter going in a Dutch oven. Some sort of pan like that, a deep pan with a lid on it. And then what, it's a very simple recipe. We're going to take some flour, put it in a paper bag. This is the easiest way to, to roll meat in flour. At least birds like this. And then do not put the bag over your head. No, don't, never, don't do the unknown comic routine after, uh, after you do this. Add a little salt and pepper to season it. That's all you need. And shake the game bird in the flour and put it in the Dutch oven where the butter is already sizzling. You don't need to coat the bird with milk or egg or anything? No, no, no breading of that type. You don't have to do it with egg. In fact, it probably wouldn't be too, uh, too good of an idea. A lot of these national outdoor writers like Ted Trueblood and Byron Darrymple and these fellows, they like to come up with recipes that don't distort the flavor or try to cover up the flavor of a game bird, but instead bring out a good, tasty flavor. Purists. And, right, they are purists and they, they just have excellent recipes. My only feeling was it's hard to stuff a whole game bird in here, so I cut it in half, but I think next time I might even try quartering it just to get it down a little lower. But you just brown the bird quickly on both sides, and of course we put the giblets in. They don't take long to cook at all, a heart, gizzard, liver. A lot of people cook those for the same length they cook the bird, but there's no point in leaving those tiny little things in there for an hour. Now you can wrap up some baked potatoes and put them in the oven. And turn that burner way down. After you've uh, got the bird browned, turn it way down. Now you can add some wine. He, Byron Darrymple calls for a gentle wine. White wines for white-meated birds, darker wines for dark-meated birds. That would be like ducks and so on. We'll take the darker. And put in maybe a third uh, in the proportion, one-third wine, two-thirds water. But don't put any more in than half covers the bird. Bring it up halfway. You don't want to submerge it. Okay, now put the lid on and let it simmer for one hour. That's about the time it takes to bake a potato. Also, you can get out some peas. A green vegetable is good with this recipe. Get it on the stove. Boy, you, can you imagine all the smells in this little camper? Mm, oh, it's so it's nice. delicious. On a cold winter day. Oh, yes. So good. And, of course, the smells get outside. Looks like you have vents. company. Oh, yes. Company comes. She must have smelled it. Yes, she did. Comes, comes knocking on the door of the camper, a surprise guest. I usually put a second baked potato in anyway, just in <laughs> case somebody drops in. By golly. Oh, she sat right down. Yeah. Well, she knows a good meal when one is cooking. So here it is. Now, after an hour, check, check the bird, check the pheasant with a fork. And if it flakes like that and it's tender, it's done. Put it on a plate and serve it up. It's always good if you have some company there that's ready and waiting. Sure, the gravy, I just used it right from the pan. You can thicken it with flour if you want, but it's tasty just the way it comes out of the pan. Now, I'm waiting. Now for the test. Let's watch the look on her face. What does she say? Ooh. Yeah, it's okay. You do you know <laughs> how to impress him, Fred? Well, I tell you, now a lot of people expect, or they're disappointed, I guess they'd say, that, that game birds don't taste exactly like chicken. Well, you know, these days, chicken hardly tastes like chicken. I raise them in a little two-foot square box and uh, feed them very quickly. But these game birds have been out eating natural foods for at least a season, and they, they're tasty. After you take a couple bites, especially when one is cooked this way, it's tender and juicy, Really, you'll, you'll love it. Gizzard. Huh? You want the gizzard? No, she no, doesn't thank want you. that. Oh, but it's tasty all the way around. All that cooked right there, right in the camper. Easy to do. You can.